four stupid things that men do that causes women to pull back from them. You've been talking to this girl for a while now and she has been reciprocating your energy. She has been texting you, she has been calling you. Basically, this girl likes you. Then all of a sudden, you notice that she no longer texts you like she's texted before. She no longer calls you like she's called you before. So what went wrong? What went wrong is that you did something stupid and that has made her to pull back from you. The first mistake that most guys do is they confess their true feelings to a woman. One of the mistakes you can ever make when you are dealing with women, especially at that beginning stage, is to confess all your, all your feelings to her. Yes, a woman wants you to tell her that you, that you like her, that you, that, you, you know, that you want something serious with her. But if you are too fast about it, it will make her to pull back. When you are about knowing a girl, or when you are in the process of knowing a girl, reduce the way you confess your feelings to her because you might appear too desperate. You might appear awkward. That you just met a girl and within two weeks you're already telling this girl i love you i want to date you i want to even marry you when you are too direct about your feelings for a woman it will make her to lose attraction for you most times it will even make her to start seeing you as a guy who is awkward as a guy who is desperate as a guy who's looking for a way to get her into bed so you have to always be careful when it comes to telling a woman how you really feel about her before you start telling a woman how you truly feel about her make sure that she's already very very comfortable with you because if you are too fast it might make her to pull back and lose interest in being with you so never make that mistake always be patient in fact it's the woman it is the woman that should bring about the topic of relationship is the woman that should bring about the topic of commitment not you as a guy because the more you talk about commitment the more you talk about relationship to her the more she starts seeing you as a guy who doesn't have other women who are chasing him women always want to be with men that that they know that other women are chasing after but if you are coming to her with that whole commitment relationship i want to date i want to marry you she will start looking down on you she'll be like this guy that is so desperate about dating me are you even sure that he has any woman in his life because he's too desperate about it so always be patient behave as if you have like five women who are chasing after you and you want to buy your time to vet them, to investigate them before you now decide to commit to them. When you behave like this, women will even find you more attractive. They will not be the one forcing you to commit to them. This is the game. You have to know how to play the game to be able to last in the game. The second stupid thing that guys do that make women to pull back from them is being too emotional around a woman you like. You are just getting to know this girl and already you are being emotional around her. Women don't love, women don't even want men who are emotional they want a man who is stoic they want a man who is in control of his emotions when you go around a woman especially a woman you're meeting just recently complaining about how difficult your life is how your boss is always trying to frustrate your life how your business is having one problem or the other or how you are facing one problem with someone or just something else that involves complaining when you are always complaining to a woman when you're always being emotional around women when you're always crying when you always behave as if you are sadistic, women don't find that attractive. They'll see you as a, a man who is emotionally weak. And women don't want to be with men who are emotionally weak because women themselves are emotionally weak. So they don't want to be with a man who is also emotionally weak because being emotionally weak is a feminine attribute. So the more weak you are emotionally as a man, the more they'll see you as a man who is feminine, as a man who is weak. And that is not attractive. And that will make them to pull back. Even if you want to, you know, Tell a woman about some of your problems. Allow her to get to know you first. Allow her to get to understand the kind of person you are. Allow her to get comfortable with you. Even if you are a masculine guy and during those beginning stages with a woman, you start being emotional, she will lose her attraction for you even though you are, you are a very masculine guy. So allow her to get to know you that you are a masculine guy, but sometimes you can also break down. So that when you break down, she will not be like, ah, is this guy a weak guy? But if a man already knows that you are a masculine, dominant, stoic guy, she will not feel scared that you are being emotional around her because she already knows that you are a guy who is very masculine. The third one is being too available and giving a woman too much attention. The more attention you give to a woman, the more she will lose interest in you. The more she will lose interest in getting to know you more. You just met a girl recently. 
And every day you call her, every day you text her, you're always in her DM. You're always calling her. You're always trying to see her every single day. That woman will get out of you because already you are frustrating her with your attention, with always trying to see her, with always trying to talk to her. Don't bombard a woman with attention. It will make them to start seeing you as a guy who is lazy, as a guy who is not busy doing anything, as a guy who is not out there trying to build himself, as a guy who is not trying to add any value to his life. This is why as a man, you must always focus your attention on your purpose, on building yourself, on becoming a better man. Because by so doing, you will have less time, less attention to give to women, and that will make them to value you more. Women love guys who are mysterious. Women love mystery. If a girl don't find you mysterious, most likely she will not be that attracted and drawn to you. Women love to figure guys out. You took a girl out on a first date and you've already told her everything about your life. How do you now expect that girl to keep being attracted to you? You've told her everything about you already. When you go on a first date, you should just keep calm and allow the girl to do all the talking. Your job on that first date is to vet her, to know if she's the kind of woman you want. But a situation whereby you take a girl out on a date and you've already told her everything about your life, even your family secrets. You've told her your fears, your ambitions, your, your plans for the next five years, your, your most nastiest secrets, if there's anyone like that. You've just revealed yourself to a girl. What is she now going to be expecting from you? She's not going to be expecting anything more from you because you've already revealed everything about yourself to her. That kills the mystery. That kills the attraction. Women want to find out more about you by themselves. The more you tell them about yourself by yourself, the more they lose attraction. It's better you allow a woman to find out more about you. Women love that hard work of trying to figure out this guy, of trying to figure out a guy, trying to get to know him more. Women love those things. Because women love mystery. You have to give these women opportunity to also chase you. Don't always be in their DM. Don't always be calling them. Allow them to miss you. Allow them, allow them to crave for you more. Because if you're always in their DM, they will not crave for you. They will not miss you. So this is why you have to understand this part about women. Never give a woman too much attention. Never do it. Else, you are going to lose them. And they will lose interest in you. The fourth stupid thing that guys do that make women to pull back is they start pleasing her. They start trying to please her. You basically start simping for a girl. You just met a girl and you're already simping for her, trying to do everything to please her. When a woman discovers that you're a simp, that she can control, that she can push around, she will not respect you. She will see you as a guy who is weak. And women hate guys who are weak. They will only use you, but they can never respect you and they can never love you. If a woman tells you, I love you, when she's using you, when she's the one controlling you, that is not true love. That is just her telling you what you want to hear. Women can never love men they can control. Women can never love men they can push around because women's love is directly proportional to their respect for a man. If they cannot respect a man, they cannot love him. They will only use you and then when they are done using you, they will discard you because you've made yourself available to be used because you are a simp. Never try to please a girl. If you meet a girl, be yourself. If you don't want to do something for her, tell her, see, I can't do this thing for you. I like you, but I can't do this thing for you. Don't try to impress them. Don't try to please them because the moment you start trying it, they will know that this guy is trying to impress me and they'll start looking for ways to even make you to impress them more. They'll start manipulating you. They'll start looking for ways make you do more silly stuff for them because you've made it obvious that you're a simp and that will make them to pull back. That will make them to lose attraction for you. That will make them to stop respecting you. Even if they keep, you know, hanging around you, they are simply hanging around you to keep using you. And by the time they're done, they'll discard you. 